Today we are going to talk about a strategy design pattern. We will also see how we can use it to solve different questions which are asked in low level design interviews. So let's get started. We are going to use a strategy pattern whenever we want to uh, achieve the same result in multiple different ways. So let's take an example. Suppose you are asked to design a food ordering system, something like a Zomato or Uber Eats. So they are the main functionalities to search list of restaurants. So which restaurants sell a particular food item? So what you see in your screen is a list of restaurants which sell a particular food item when you search for that food item. That list can be sorted in multiple different ways. It can be sorted by price. It can be sorted by rating. So what you need at the back end is different classes which implement different algorithms and return the results. Those classes, the input for them will be the same. It will be name of the food item, user's location and some other parameters and output will be exactly the same. It will be a list of restaurants. Only the ordering will be different based on the algorithm. So this is a perfect use case for strategy design pattern. Another example, let's suppose uh, we want to assign parking spots to vehicles in a parking lot. So again, there are different algorithms or different ways can be there for assigning the spots. You can assign the first come first serve, like return the first available parking spot, which is suitable for the vehicle. Again, the different parking spots may have different pricing depending on whether it, it has a EV charger or whether it is for the disabled or some or whether it is for the students and you may have a completely different algorithm that returns a parking spot which is the cheapest or which is the costliest something like that costliest means something that has a EV charger and it has a fast charger so you see again we have different algorithms which do the same thing everyone returns a parking spot but it returns a different parking spot based on the parameters that are given to it again let's suppose you are asked to design a payment gateway so there there can be multiple different options upi credit debit card net banking and in each of these ways or options the transaction fee is calculated differently so again we can have different strategy classes to achieve this to calculate the transaction fee so these are all examples of a strategy pattern so let's see how the strategy pattern is implemented we have a interface rating strategy and this is the common interface which all the strategy classes should follow so if you remember all the strategy classes should have the same input and they should take the same uh, they should return the output in the same format so everyone will return a list of restaurants just that that list will be different for each different algorithm or each different class now this interface is implemented by all the different classes that we need let's suppose we are returning the all the restaurants which have the highest average rating okay so this class can implement that now we may want to choose the restaurants where that particular food item has been rated the five stars most time okay for example biryani has been rated five star 41 times in a particular restaurant so that means that restaurants makes the best biryani in town so i want restaurants like those so we can use this class so these are the two classes and how we use these classes or pick one of these classes in the real time we want some sort of a factory or rating strategy assigner in this case it has now this is just one way to implement we can put all the strategy classes in a map and assign them one or the either based on the context so at runtime we can assign one of the strategy classes and there get restaurants method can be called to fetch the list of restaurants so this is how a typical uh, strategy pattern works so what benefit has it provided us let's suppose tomorrow if we want to uh, have a completely different algorithm so search restaurants uh, uh, basically return me a list of restaurants which sell this food item cheapest for example i want to order maggi so i will search restaurants which uh, basically implement a class which returns list of restaurants which cheaply in sell food items in the order from lowest to highest 
and there I will just add its uh, uh, object in this map and again based on the context that algorithm can be selected at runtime whenever it is asked. So this was about strategy pattern. Now let's see how will we use a strategy pattern in actual interview questions. So we have a question design a parking lot. Uh, I have already opened it. Uh, in this question, uh, in the park method, we have two parking strategy, 0 and 1. So how have I implemented it using a strategy pattern? I have created the interface parking strategy, which will have the functionality park. Uh, do not worry about the parameters. Uh, look into them when you are actually attempting the question. So for now, we have an interface parking strategy and this interface is actually implemented by both these classes parking strategy 0 and 1 which is nearest parking strategy and most free spots parking strategy and these two algorithm classes you are used by our park manager uh, both the algorithms to actually assign a parking spot to the vehicle now let's see uh, another different example uh, as to where we should not overuse the any design pattern in this case a strategy pattern so for example consider designing a chess game we know each piece has got its own move so there are straight move diagonal move and different pieces use their own move so what i have done is uh, i have created a move interface here and it has its method uh, to move a piece from starting position to ending position now again we will not worry about the implementation details just see how have we used the strategy pattern now this move interface is implemented by two classes which is diagonal move and straight move and both have their own separate implementation for the can move method now i haven't given any implementation for the two plus one move which is made by a knight or the move by a king or the move by a pawn uh, and we will see why i didn't feel the need for it so in the chess piece factory class uh, where we actually create the chess piece objects the straight move and diagonal move can combine to create a queen piece a straight move will be enough for a rook piece and the diagonal move will be enough to create a bishop piece so using two move classes i have created three pieces so we have code reuse here but uh, king uh, knight and pawn they have their unique moves and that functionality is not shared so i thought it's better to reduce complexity uh, just give their implementation in their own classes for example in the king piece we have its own move method and it has its own implementation which is unique to the move of the king so this is a call you all will have to make uh, whether you want to increase an extra strategy class or do you want to give the implementation then and there uh, which is better for now and you know a code keeps evolving as the software progresses so the thing to take away from here is that do not overuse any design pattern uh, use if it leads to benefits such as code reuse and clarity uh, those are the goals so if you want to take away one thing from here uh, just remember that strategy pattern is used when you need multiple algorithm to do a similar thing i have created a seven day plan to prepare for your lld interviews uh, you can access it on codegym.com slash roadmap. Uh, so what happens is whenever someone starts preparing for low level design, uh, they mostly don't know which topics they should read about or what are the questions that they should practice. So this seven day plan has it all, the basically short videos like this one uh, and other theory and day by day practice questions. So give it a go. It will help you prepare for your low level design interviews uh, quite efficiently. And I wish you the best of luck. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Bye.